As you can see right here, I got a Ford 8.8. .8. Put an Arctic truss on it. I'm gonna be starting to rebuild. And what I have here is a Eaton Detroit True Track, which I also have currently running in my TJ and my Dana 35. I actually really like these. I'm gonna classify them as a locker locker. I'm not really like a limited slip either. They're kind of in a setup all by its own. It's got like helical gears that run across the length of it. So once you start losing traction, it automatically locks itself up. This is a Detroit True Track in all its beautiful glory. Also comes with this little package right down here with little spacers, cover, a retaining cylinder, and a snap ring. You don't want to lose those. It's very important. Now I'm going to grab the manual to show you guys why I love this thing so much. So this is right from the horse's mouth, the instruction manual. So you can see the design of the true track right there. Benefits. Patented design of parallel axis planetary helical gears provides a smooth and quiet automatic division of torque. Improved traction relative to other rear wheel and four wheel drive vehicles. Maintenance free requires no friction modifiers. Lifetime torque basis retention. But one thing I do want to point out, and it says right here, if you guys, I don't know if you guys read that yet, but a lot of people might complain about it. True track. Differentials require a certain amount of resistance on the ground to start the power transfer. A true track differential may not transfer power if the spinning wheel is off the ground. If spinning occurs, a light application of the brakes while carefully applying power will generate sufficient resistance in the spinning wheel to actuate the true track differential and transfer torque to the other wheel. I know a lot of people complain about that. I've seen that doing some research. But if they would have read the manual, they would have understood why. Now I've had one in my Jeep probably the last eight, nine years at least. Never had an issue at all. I've ran my Jeep stock. I've ran it with a supercharger. And also I got a LS Vortec motor in it now. And I haven't had an issue due to mainly a lot of common sense. Don't go stupid on the skinny pedal and you're not going to have any issues. But that's not what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about my experiences with it. I personally have experienced that I can go a long ways in two-wheel drive before I have to engage in four-wheel drive because of the true track itself. Because once it starts to engage, I can just keep on trucking along up to a point when the rear just starts spinning and then I actually have to engage four-wheel drive which makes it really nice now if a person would have like a too low in their jeep with the two track would make it even a better combo so i hope you guys enjoyed this short video it's not a posi it's not a limited slip it's not a locker it's kind of in a class all by itself and i bought it again because i really like it so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have any questions or comments post them below and I'll see you guys in the next one.